20 English phrases with time from EspressoEnglish.net. Number 1. Ahead of one's time. To be ahead of your time means to have ideas or attitudes that are too advanced for the culture or society at the moment. For example, my grandmother was ahead of her time. She opened her own company in an era when there were few women in the business world. The opposite is behind the times. If you're behind the times, you're old-fashioned. You're not keeping up with current developments. For example, Bob is a bit behind the times. He doesn't know how to use a computer, much less a smartphone. Number 3. A race against time. A race against time is a situation when you need to rush to do something before the deadline. That's the time limit. For example, the last day for submitting project proposals is one week from today, so now it's a race against time. Number 4. In the nick of time. If you do something in the nick of time, it means you do it at the last possible moment, before it's too late. For example, we got to the airport in the nick of time. If we'd arrived five minutes later, we would have missed our flight. Number 5. Have the time of your life. To have the time of your life means to have a super wonderful experience. For example, my kids had the time of their lives at Disney World. Number 6. Have a devil of a time or have a hell of a time. This means to have a very difficult experience. For example, I'm having a devil of a time trying to install this software. Every time I try, I get a different error message. Number 7. Bide your time until. To bide your time until something means to wait patiently for a good opportunity. For example, he was just biding his time until he got a chance to work at his dream job. Number 8. Catch someone at a bad time. If you catch someone at a bad time, it means you attempt to speak to him or her in a moment that is inconvenient for that person. For example, Hi Peter, you caught me at a bad time. I'm about to go into a meeting. Could I call you back in an hour? Number 9. Have a lot of time on your hands. To have a lot of time on your hands means to have a lot of free time, maybe too much free time. For example, that guy completely covered the walls of his room with colored pencil drawings. He must have a lot of time on his hands. Number 10. All in good time. If you say all in good time, you're saying that it will happen when the time is right, so be patient. For example, if your friend asks, Why is it taking so long for my career to take off? You can give her some advice by saying, All in good time. Just keep working hard and you'll make it. Number 11. It's only a matter of time. This expression means it will definitely happen sooner or later. For example, the company has lost money for the third year in a row. It's only a matter of time before it goes bankrupt. Number 12. Time will tell. This expression means that the passing of time will show the result, whether that result is good or bad. For example, if your cousin says, I was surprised that Bill and Jackie got married. Do you think they'll be happy together? You could reply, only time will tell. Number 13. Stand the test of time. If something stands the test of time, it means it lasts for a long time and continues to be successful. For example, this is a classic work of literature. It has stood the test of time. Number 14. The time is ripe. This expression means it is the best time to do something now. For example, real estate prices are low and we have a lot of money saved up. I think the time is ripe for us to buy a house. This expression comes from the fact that ripe fruit is at the perfect moment to eat, 
So saying the time is ripe means it is the best time to do something. Number 15. To time. To two time somebody means to deceive, betray, or cheat someone. For example, my two timing ex fiance had been seeing another woman for the entire time we were engaged. Number 16. The big time. The big time is an informal way to say the highest or most profitable level. For example, she made it to the big time with the launch of her latest novel. It sold hundreds of thousands of copies in the first week. Number 17. Time flies. This expression means time passes very quickly. For example, your son is already 12 years old? I remember when he was a baby. Time flies. There's another similar expression, time flies when you're having fun, meaning that time passes more quickly when you're doing something you enjoy. Number 18. Time heals all wounds. This means the passing of time makes emotional hurt get better. For example, Right now she's very upset that her boyfriend broke up with her, but you know what they say, time heals all wounds. Number 19. Time is of the essence. This means that correct timing is very important. We often say time is of the essence when something is urgent. For example, in order to meet the deadline, you need to send us the contract by Monday. Time is of the essence. And number 20. Third time's the charm. This is a saying that means the third time you try something, it will work when the previous two attempts have failed. For example, I've called her twice, but she hasn't answered. Let me try again. The third time's the charm. It's often easier to understand idiomatic expressions like these when you see them in context. In the Everyday English Speaking course, you'll learn English phrases and expressions through conversations. The course contains a lot of practical English for situations of day-to-day -day life, as well as some informal expressions that native speakers use all the time. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the Everyday English Speaking course.